Welcome to the 18-1C anniversary and change of our dinner, hosted by All Arts and Multicultural Incorporation and Premier Hall of the Queensland Parliament House. I'll now invite Auntie Peggy Titerman, a well-known and respected Aboriginal elders of the Gungaris people, to do the acknowledgement of the country. Auntie Peggy Titerman was born at Michu. Michu is about 568 kilometers away. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Auntie Peggy Titerman. sorry business. So I have sorry business in my family back home at Mitchell and so I want to uh, extend my sympathies, my condolences to any other families who may have sorry business as well. I, uh, I'm a Goongaree descendant on my father's side so when I come to these events, I introduce myself culturally. So I am a Gungri descendant on my father's side, but I also have Chinese heritage. My great grandmother is Chinese. On my mother's side, I am Vijara. And also my grandfather, my uh, maternal grandfather came from Afghanistan. So I have a very rich cultural background. I can say that. <laughs> um, but as a Gungari uh, descendant, I know uh, my language, my traditional language. I was born on my country. I was born on the riverbank. I know my uh, people, who my people are and I know my land. So our land extends uh, north um, from St George all the way up to Carnarvon Gorge, east of Charleville and west of Roma. So we were granted native title um, in 2000 and, what is the year, 2018. So Carnarvon Gorge is part of our traditional land. But it's very important for me to explain to you um, why we do that acknowledgement of country. So I don't come from this particular part of the, of the country, I'm from southwest Queensland. So we call ourselves Freshwater Murrays. Um, the acknowledgement is because I am on somebody else's land. I am a visitor to this part of country, just as all of you are. And we do the acknowledgement of country so that we can honour and respect our people who came before us, our old people who have, um, as I said, have taken care of this country, but they have maintained our culture so that we can still carry on with our culture today. 
I also became a member of the Multicultural uh, Network Association. And when I joined that um, network, I joined in with some other very, um, some people that I, I would call my close friends. I also acknowledge Lewis Lee as my brother. My Chinese brother. And I acknowledge Surrender Prasad as my brother. So as I said, it is really important that we come together and we're here as I said it once before when Graham Perrett said, I said one nation. <laughs> This said, one people. <laughs> so we all come together as Australians. But I want to acknowledge that this evening's event is about the 18th anniversary of the World Arts Multiculture Event and also the changeover. I want to acknowledge uh, Melody Chen as the founding president and Melody. You must be my sister. <laughs> but I acknowledge uh, the wonderful work that Melody has done uh, over that time. And also, I want to acknowledge Edward Lynn, who is the outgoing uh, president, and also Peggy. Thank you, Louis. I know that we have a number of dignitaries here with us this evening, but I think that. Lewis will be going through that list. And so I just want to acknowledge all of the dignitaries that are here this evening joining this uh, event. And I can honestly say that I have been invited by the um, Taiwanese Art Association to join them at their uh, art exhibition recently and also at the um, Buddha Temple over at Ragedale. So I am a, a well, I'd say a recognised artist, um, but it's wonderful that we can bring our cultures together through art and through um, food, which we're going to enjoy, and uh, all other things that uh, help us to become uh, Australians and that we can celebrate together. Thank you. Thank you, Auntie Peggy Tideman, for your wonderful acknowledgement of the country. I'm very honoured, such an honour to be your brother. Your brother. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, can I start by beginning by acknowledging the traditional custodian of the land on which we meet. I pay my respect to the elders, past, present and emerging. Ladies and gentlemen, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Louis Lee. I'm your MC today. For housekeeping, the ladies and gents toilet are outside this hall. If there is a sign, so just follow the sign. If there is a fire uh, or emergency, please proceed to the nearest exit. Leave the building and gather at the designated assembly area as directed. Appreciate if you can switch off your mobile phone or switch to silent. Now, I would like to acknowledge our dignitary this evening. First, I would like to acknowledge the host, Melody Chen, the live on new president of War Arts and Multiculture, also the Commissioner for Overseas Community Affairs Council, ROC Taiwan. <laughs> and I acknowledge Edward Lin, the outgoing president. He has been president for 10 years. And I acknowledge Kathy Wu, the incoming president. And then I also, I know China Yi and Maggie Liu, the honorary president. <laughs> All the team members of War Arts and Multiculture Incorporated. Now, I'd like to acknowledge the TICO and QTC. Edward Tao, the Director General of Taipei Economy and Culture <laughs> Office of Group. And I also acknowledge Henry Lin, his Deputy Director. Where is Henry Lin? And I acknowledge Su Fan Cheng, the director of Queensland Taiwan Centre. <laughs> now I have to acknowledge the state MP. Can I first acknowledge the Honourable Lielina MP, the Minister for <laughs> Charles and Youth <laughs> Justice and Minister for Multicultural Affairs. <laughs> and Lien Enoch's not here yet. 
Okay, I'll acknowledge later. You know, I acknowledge Peter Russell and he's the state member for two years. Also, the chairman of the Hindu Arthur and Community Safety Committee. And I also acknowledge Dr. John Pro Lembro and he's the chair of minister for senior community and chair of minister for multiculturalism and Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Partnership, and also member for Surface Paradise. Can I acknowledge yeah, Councillor yeah. King Marx, <laughs> West Councillor King Marx, Councillor for uh, Runcorn Ward, also the chairman of the City Standard. She's not here, I'm reading her. Is Councillor King Marx here? No? So okay. someone might have. Okay. Any other way. Can I acknowledge Councillor Teresa Lane, the count Division 2 from the Logan City Council, and <laughs> her partner, John Abbott. Where's John Abbott? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I acknowledge James Martin, the nominee for public office, and also his partner, Stella Martin. Stella Martin. I acknowledge Bill Grant, the acting assistant commissioner for Queensland Police Services, and all the team of the Queensland Police Services. Can I acknowledge Ellis Whitton, who's not here? And if I acknowledge Peter Law OAM, the only president of Queensland Chinese Forum, and only president of the Australian Christian Association. And I acknowledge Surrender Prasad, the president of the Fijian CDC Association of Queensland, and also the chairman of the Australian Indian Heritage Award Committee. Can I acknowledge Jeannie Mott OAM, the director of Public Culture uh, MCC, Public Culture Community Center. Can I acknowledge Gail Kurt OAM, the CEO for the SA Community Center. Can I acknowledge Michael Choi OAM, the former member for Kabalaba. I hope I get this name right. And can I acknowledge Auntie Peggy Tideman again, the community leaders, the Gungari elders. Can I acknowledge Vivian Lin, the commissioner for Overseas Community Affairs Council ROC. Where's Vivian Lin? Can I now acknowledge uh, four people here, Emily Juan, Peter Juan, and Michelle Juan, and Wayne Cole. Where are they? Stand up, please. They are the senior advisor of the Community Affairs Council ROC. Fora Chen, the advisor for Overseas Community Affairs ROC. Where is Fora Chen? Fora <laughs> Chen, the Secretary General of the Australian Friends, uh, Federation of Taiwanese Association. Lawrence Cunivan, I didn't see him, but it's written here, but anyway, I'll go to the next one. Leila Pratek, the president of the Demini Women Association of Queensland. <laughs> and I acknowledge Paul Sheen, the president of the Taiwan Chamber of Commerce, or Sherry. Greg Yu, the president of the Australian Taiwanese Chamber of Commerce of Queensland. Tina Lin, the president of the Global Federation of Chinese Business Women Association of Queensland. Benjamin <laughs> Chen, the permanent advisor for Taiwan Women League of Queensland. Where's Benjamin Chen? He's not here. Gloria Chen or Chai? Oh, who is here? Gloria, Gloria Chai, the president of the Australian Asian Art Network Association. Lian Wang, the president of Sun Chai Fine Arts International Association Incorporated. Arthur Liu, the president of Buddha Light International Association of Queensland. James Liu, the president of the Taiwanese French Association of Queensland. Lisa Chu, the president of Queensland Chinese Orchestra. Elsa Chui, the president of the Chinese Ethnic Broadcasting Association of Queensland. Jeffrey Chiang, the president of the Hakka Association of Queensland. I think I cover all the community leaders, now I cover the business leader. Can I acknowledge Jane Chen, the general manager of the Taiwan Business Bank, limited the Queensland branch. Where is Jane Chen? She's not here? Okay, Stephen Grendon, the general manager of St Sunpack. Thank you. If I miss out anyone, I take full responsibility for it, okay? Even though I didn't prepare this. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now...